Thank you for joining me, I'm Alex and I want to talk about Goldman Sachs today. So they're one of the biggest banks in America and uh, their current share price is $237.75 which gives them a market cap of $84 billion. Current dividend yield is just over 2% with a 20% payout ratio which means that they could actually pay a 10% dividend without losing money which is pretty nice. Uh, current revenue $35.5 billion, earnings $8.5 billion, which gives them a PE of 11 with a forward PE of 9. And that's kind of where the PE versus dividend comes in. Total assets $993 billion, total liability is $903 billion, which gives them a total stockholders equity of $90 billion. Um, Obviously not a great thing when the liabilities are rising way faster than the assets, but not much you can do there, and um, it's obviously not because they're losing money. Um, they're making a profit of $8.5 billion, which is not nothing. So, um, obviously, um, with these huge banks, the balance sheet um, is going to be fairly equal between assets and liabilities. I mean, there's less than 10% between that. Um, but that's just because the numbers are so extremely huge. Um, earnings of $8.5 billion, um, certainly not nothing. Um, dividend yield of over 2%, um, not nothing. Um, obviously, you can, if you so choose, find... Um, companies with a way higher dividend yield, but generally not with a payout ratio that is this low. So um, revenue is growing, which is a good thing. Um, earnings are not growing, which is not a good thing, but um, generally not really something to worry about. And um, so overall, I would say that um, for dividend investor, this is actually a pretty decent stock because of the low payout ratio, which means that they could be growing the dividend year over year. And if you're holding the stock for a long term, um, you could actually make a much higher dividend yield than you currently would. Um, for a value investor, I think the balance sheet looks pretty decent still. Um, the PE is obviously good. Um, there is revenue growth, even though it's not huge, and the dividend is nice as well. So for a value investor, this also looks like a pretty decent stock. Um, for both, I think that there are better opportunities out there right now. Um, there's also better opportunities in the banking sector itself. If you want a bank with a higher dividend, um, if you want a bank with a better balance sheet, if you want a bank with a higher growth. But um, overall, I think this is a fairly solid pick because it's a well-established company and um, they're obviously not going away and the balance sheet looks good. The dividend is all right. Um, pretty much everything works in their favor. That's it for me for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.